Hello everyone and welcome to Mr. This is Africa, and here is Cameroon. Now let's see what's been happening there, shall we? Cameroon is known to have been inhabited for many millennia, but those early people remain mostly a mystery. Things get a bit clearer around the 6th century, where we find traces of the Sao culture that arose along the banks of the Shari River, but they too are largely an enigma, though they did make this weird looking figurine, which I think most closely resembles that guy from Star Wars who says, It's a trap! The Sao were conquered by the Kotoko people, who were themselves absorbed into the Muslim Bornu Empire. Cameroon gets its name from the Portuguese, who, while sailing up the Wuri River in 1472, spotted a whole lot of ghost shrimp, so they called it Rio dos Camaros, River of Prawns. Cameroon became a key source of slaves, shipped over the Atlantic to the Americas, which thankfully began to stop in the 1800s. Numerous missionaries arrived and preached to the people, and today Christianity is the nation's main religion. But Islam predominates in the narrow north, where the Fulani people launched a jihad against to the infidel, setting up the Aramawa Emirate in 1809. But the Europeans had not taken their eyes off the region. In 1883, Cameroon became part of the German Empire, but Germany's bold ambitions for the country ended with the First World War, which saw the country fall jointly to the British and French. The British focused on agriculture, plantations of cacao beans, bananas and coffee, but the French administered their portion better, with more investment in health, education and infrastructure. Yet the Cameroonians, all 200 ethnic groups of them, favoured independence, and they got it in 1960 and 61, with Amadou Aidjo as the first president, who kept the English and French bits together. His rule saw several successes and failures, and he ended up resigning in 1982, making way for Paul Beer, who has mysteriously won every election ever since. His tenure has seen increasing demands for independence by the English speakers, whose demonstrations are violently suppressed, plentiful corruption and economic woes, but also the defeat of Islamic terrorist group Boko Haram in Cameroonian territory. Despite all the hardships this country has undergone, it has a growing economy and has given the world a number of fine writers and musicians and sports stars. Football Football or soccer is the favourite game of Cameroon, which has won the Africa Cup of Nations five times and got the gold at the Sydney Olympics. Best of luck to Cameroon, and may your future leaders be better. But until then, it's bye from me for now. Bye bye!